What are the two most typical things you do in Amsterdam? Riding a bike and drinking beer. But what if we combine the two? Today we are in Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands, a modern, upbeat and dynamic city, well known for its crazy nightlife and famous museums. But how much do we actually know about the uniqueness of Amsterdam? Let's find out. Number 1. More bikes than people. What is the first thing you do when you end up in Amsterdam? You get yourself a bike. The Dutch culture of cycling is most prominent in the capital city. Amsterdam has more bikes than the total number of inhabitants. No wonder every year they fish around 25,000 bikes from the canals of Amsterdam. Now what happens if you are a lonely tourist and you don't want to go around the city all by yourself? No worries, Amsterdam has came up with the idea of Bucky for you. If you spot a cyclist with a yellow luggage rack on the bike, you may shout Bucky and then that cyclist would offer you a lift. Assuming you both want to go in the same direction of course, isn't that cool? Kind of like couch surfing for cyclers. Despite being crowded with so many bike rides, Amsterdam is one of the safest cities to bike because of its well-planned and maintained biking route. The city has more than 400 kilometers of dedicated biking lanes, which is like going from Amsterdam to Brussels and back. Number two, the city of canals and bridges. Now, Rihan, let me ask you a weird question. Which city is well known for its canals? You're gonna say Venice, right? And if I ask you which city is well known for its bridges, you're probably gonna say Venice again. Now, you're probably thinking, this video was supposed to be about Amsterdam, right? Yes, you're right again. But did you know that Amsterdam actually has more canals and more bridges than Venice? Yeah, you heard it right. Amsterdam has 160 canals, which is actually 10 more than Venice. And we, when you talk about bridges, well, Venice is not even a competition. Amsterdam has a whooping 1200 bridges, whereas Venice has only 400. So don't forget to have a canal cruise while you are in Amsterdam. There is a bridge in Amsterdam named Blauburg, which is actually inspired by the Pont Alexander III, the most famous bridge in Paris. The flavor of Venice and Paris in the same city. Now that's what we call a super combo. Number three, living on water. All the number of canals surely do not leave a lot of land for the inhabitants of Amsterdam to build upon. So what ingenious way did the Amsterdamers find to solve that problem? They started living on water. Yes, the canals of Amsterdam are lined with houseboats with people permanently living in them. Although the government restricts the addition of new houseboats these days, but there are already more than 2,500 houseboats in the city. These boats even have postal addresses, electricity and sewage connections. But the Amsterdamers did not limit themselves only in living on water. They made one of the world's largest floating flower market and even made a boathouse for homeless cats in the city. Since 1960s, the cat boat has offered shelters for the helpless felines of the city. In recent times, it has also become a very well-known tourist destination. Who does not like to cuddle a little with those furry friends? Number 4. The Floating City Standing on soft soil, crisscrossed by 160 canals in an active tidal zone, it's not easy for Amsterdam to maintain its infrastructure. If buildings are made directly on such soft grounds, then they would slowly start to sink or lean. For centuries, the mere existence of Amsterdam in such a location is an engineering feat in itself. To solve this problem, the Amsterdamers came up with an unorthodox idea, which turned out to be a sheer touch of brilliance. They started to build on top of poles, 
hundreds and hundreds of poles were punched on the ground and then the base of the building were rested on these poles instead of directly on the ground. This ingenious idea was the lifeline for Amsterdam's survival. The city stands on as many as 11 million poles. See how much tilted this building is. After all, it is a floating city, standing on millions of poles. Number 5. Super Narrow Houses All these challenges meant that the land was the most precious asset in Amsterdam. There was not much room for a building to expand sidewise, jacked between all these lakes. There is another good reason why Amsterdam's houses are so narrow, and that has to do with money, of course. Back in the 17th century, locals were taxed based on the width of their properties, which, funnily enough, generated much interest in narrow-fronted houses. Who likes to pay taxes, right? Today, the house at Single 7 boasts as the narrowest building in the city, barely fitting a normal-sized door. Normal-sized door. Number 6. The home of Heineken. Anyone would go thirsty after visiting so many places in Amsterdam. After all, that's a lot of sightseeing. Are you looking to quench your thirst? Then Amsterdam has the winning ingredients. While most European countries have their own beer, the Dutch can proudly claim to have the most popular one. Founded in Amsterdam in 1864, Heineken now churns out almost 200 million hectoliters or 5.2 billion gallons of beer. That is like 800 Olympic-sized swimming pools filled with Heineken. At the Heineken Experience, you'll have the chance to learn the brewing process, all while sipping down a cold glass yourself. But isn't that cool enough for you? Then why not combine the two typical Dutch habits, riding a bike and drinking beer? Yes, Amsterdam offers a unique experience called Beer Bike, where you can sip beer with your friends while riding through the streets and enjoying the cityscape. Amsterdam never fails to surprise. Or does it? Hey guys, if you like our videos, then please give us a thumbs up and do not forget to share our videos. And please consider subscribing to our channel and do not forget to hit the bell button. You can also choose to follow us on our social platforms for which the links are given below. And last, but not the least, the birthplace of Stock Exchange. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about the word Stock Exchange? Is it Wall Street? New York? London? Those are indeed symbols of big money being invested in stocks and where financial fortunes are made these days. But a little known fact is that it all started here in Amsterdam. Amsterdam is the city that claims to have the first stock exchange in the whole world. It was established by the Dutch East India Company back in 1602 to fund their expeditions worldwide. And that brought a boom in Dutch trade and colonization. Not sure though whether that turned out to be a good thing for all. But nonetheless, the stock exchange of Amsterdam was the first place where mass investment in big corporations started. The modern day concept of investing in stocks. The stock exchange is still in operation under the name Euronext. More than 400 years of history in money making. So after knowing so much more about Amsterdam, what would be on top of your list when you are here in Amsterdam next time? Please let us know by commenting below. Hey Maruf, weren't you supposed to show us something else today? Oh yes, you're right, I almost forgot. Well, did you know that tram number 5 is considered to be the busiest tram in Amsterdam? Well, even if you didn't, now you know. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next week, we'll be back with something amazing, something different or something strange. Until then, stay curious and keep hunting.